All right, wait. Uh, do I need another basic salad? Probably gonna have a boss fight coming up, so why not? Let's just have as much food as we can. Ooh, what? Okay, what's going on here? Teleport to a new little area. Oh, oh, climb. Okay, climb. Hoppity, hoppity. Go up to this chest. A shiny pearl. Climb up here. That can't be there. Climb in. Okay. This way, no. Ah! Oh yeah! Boost. Yikes. Man, slow on that. Um, let's go with yes, we Oh. Fantastic! So we got some foodsies. Oh, that's going to take. Yeah, no, no worries. Okay, good. Hoppity hop, hop down. Oh, uh, now you give me something. Okay. be explained in due time. Okay, so we got that piece there. Maybe is what I'm looking to obtain. Basic armor. Right, who's got the bait? Okay. Let's give bait. I can't give basic armor to Garl. I guess we'll give it to Zale. Oh my goodness. That thing is hard to dodge. Skew-do-do-do. Coming around. Quackity whack. Get that initial. Kia. Uh oh. Oh boy. Drop the ladder down. That just takes us to where we went. 
sail. that I, okay, that makes sense. Now that I got the ladder, I can now go here. Kaba! Magic use. The crystal is up. Let's switch this to him for a little bit just so he can get his health back up. Switch it to Zay. What am I building here? Am I building some Christmas ornament? It's like we got the top, we got the middle, or the bottom, maybe. We're building the Eiffel Tower. Go left, I'm going right! artifact piece, you will need to answer three questions correctly. Let's see how well you learn. Of these two actions, which one generates MP? Attacking. Correct. Correct Mundo. We can jump down here. Answer this one. What is the name of the school you went to? Solstice Elementary, Zenith Academy. That is correct. Chest. Ooh, mushroom scramble. Final question awaits. One very important Solstice Warrior duty is to destroy dwellers. Who became vulnerable doing which natural phenomenon? Who become? The Equinox, the Solstice, the Eclipse. Uh... Clips. Yay! I started second guessing. I was like, well, they're solstice warriors. Maybe it's the solstice? But it is not the solstice. Uh, we're gonna take a rest. Scramble. Give a quick rest, we'll save, and then we'll activate whatever's in front of us. This is our last chance to repair. Do you feel ready? Yes! Shit. 
Don't get scared now. I do. Ooh, young adventurers have finished the preparations. Huh? I see you understand the power of live mana, but can you master it? We shall see. The use of spells is now allowed again. I think my accent for him completely changed, but that's okay. Oh boy. Uh, Owl Cloud Man has now become <laughs> a beast in armor. Face me, children of the solstice! Okay, so arms are attackable. His sword. Basically, that's the only thing I can attack right now. Is his sword or him? Innate magic!
Okay, we blocked that one. Um, let's just absorb one. Max, or it was just like you've done enough damage. We're just gonna stop now. Towards the end, there, uh, I find it it works good if you just spam the button. Ooh, a bright future awaits you indeed, Valerie and Zale. I name you Solstice Warriors. I knew it. You're the best. Ha! There it is. We did it. I have consulted the mists of time during your travels. When you are ready to leave this place, find me back at the sacred pond, and I will tell you of your respective prophecies. Then you will be sent into the world. Ooh. Don't take too long now. I am a cloud. I dissipate. All right. Um, quantity. I feel like you can make more than that. Berry jam. Oh, I'm capped out on food. I see. Let's set up. Chit chat. Oh, he's doing push ups. Okay. Time to use our new powers to cross over to the big statue atop Mountain Trail. This live mana thing is unreal. I want to boost all the time. Okay, I guess that's it. Turn to the mountain trail. Yes. Yes! Good morning! The time has come to begin your journey. Morning? But it's the middle of the night! Ah, oh, yes! I suppose your friend should address that. Address what? Bring us the dawn! We can... we can do that? All it takes is for you to stand on a celestial rune. And then what? Something inside of you knows already. Right this way. Now concentrate and bring us the dawn dish soap. Use R2 and L2 while standing on celestial runes to change the time of day. Oh, I 
How did you do that? That's the coolest thing I've ever seen! Hoo-hoo-hoo! That part is always easier by simply going for it. Now, in your travels, you will sometimes find mechanisms and seals powered by magic runes that react to the time of day. They were put to place by solstice warriors who came before you. Some conceal artifacts meant to help future members of the order such as yourselves, while others seal away evils that were too powerful to confront. Whether or not to look for these artifacts and challenges will be entirely up to you. Now your journey can begin. Come and meet me beyond this chasm. Ah. How do we get across? By using your powers, of course. Have you not been listening to me, you dumb children? Meet me on the other side. It is a farewell gift I shall share with you. What I could read in the mist of time. Try using the crystal to charge the smaller rune on the ground above and see what happens. Can we jump down? Wheat. Moving lights around to make bridges. People must be wondering, like, what the heck is going on up in the sky? Hey, it's one of those Pokemon goats. Ooh, are you ready to be sent into the world? Let us see you off then, but first, your prophecies. I will speak them to your minds directly, for they are yours and yours alone. Zael, step forward. In order to reach your full potential, you will first need to stare at the night inside of you. Uh, thank you, Elder Mist. Valir. Valerie. I'm with Valerie. Approach. When the time comes, you will be the one to create paths on water. Understood. Garl. I get one too? Awesome! You must be mindful of your limitations during this journey, you fat slob. <laughs> you got it, Elder Mist. Garl, this is not a conversation. <laughs> oh, uh, my bad. Carry on. The mists are unclear in your case, but it appears your heart may be warm enough to soothe a long tormented soul. Okay, I'll do my best. You have now learned everything I could teach you. I am sending you to the Sleeper Island, where you are fated to meet a crew bound for adventure. Make friends with them, and they shall help you reach Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. To activate this giant, give it the name Zetol to be sent to Sleeper Island. To return here, simply go to Zetol and speak this one's name, which is... Zetal Cool! Son of a bitch! Well, I suppose we won't be seeing each other for a while. Woo! No, wait. Oh, Garl. And so, it was that Val Valerie and Zael were sent off to begin their journey with their best friend, the warrior cook in tow. In their quest to get the Wraith Island in time for the eclipse, they would soon come to grips with two very powerful wizards, one by anger beset, the other of life bereft. Still think that looks like Dr. Claw. I'll get you Gadget. Maybe I should be using that as the voice. And so, the adventurers. Hey, nice catch! Ooh. No! 
way! That was awesome! The Elder Miss wasn't kidding. What a ride. Who knew the world was so big? So what now? Find a boat, I suppose. To ground level, then. There's only one way we could go from here anyway. Zetal is inactive. Too bad we don't have a name to give it. Good job, girl! We weren't given the name. Wheat. We got some wheat. I see a chest. 90 gold. Very nice. Very nice. Is there any way to get over there? Doesn't look like it. You can't really jump. Oh, this way. I see your tricks. Ooh, a chest. Solstice Mage Ring. What do you give, Solstice Mage Ring? No, not skills. Equip. Party members recover one MP when they time a block. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter who I give this to. It's going to help everybody. Cool. Right on. Come on, climb up. You can do it. To jump down. Got some more quit. Hiya! Oh, I didn't get that attack off. Yeah! Oh, I missed that. Like an idiot. There we go. Barfanugan. See ya. Kia. Lettuce or cabbage? One of those. Let's not go that way yet. Let's explore down here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Perry, Perry. Up seduzels. Tight walk rope. Another one. Uh, peppers. Rainbow conch. What doth a conch do? Might interest a collector. All right. Extend the bridge. Potatoes. Hello, ninja girl with pigtails. Oh, what the? More lands. I am loving this soundtrack. More quit. Here 
There we go. Okay, yes. Ouchies. Alright, so looks like these things are beefy. on the hole now. The surface feels fragile. It would probably break if we jumped from high. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So let's climb up here and then jump. Mushrooms. Yum, 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 back up here, see if there's anything else to gain. Some more peppers. Yeah! Fish people? Even they're dancing. Ooh, blocked. Vulnerable. Darn it. Hoppity ho. Gotcha. Oh, 
Uh, let's boost and do a Moonerang. Perry! 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 Okay, it wasn't time to spam yet. I preempted the 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 spam. Ooh, ooh. So it. Ooh, some meat chunk. Oh, what? Some quit down there. Power belt. Twenty twenty. Oh, Mountain Goat. Hello, Mountain Goat. Hello, Mountain Goat. We're gonna whack you, Mountain Goat. Oh, that timing. Who do I want to do this with? Take him out. Fully take him out. Let's heal. Eat a sandwich, son. Ooh, an apple. Ooh, got you blocked. Blocked! He's doing that spinny lightsaber trash from Disney Star Wars. Okay, we can get two deflections on this. Hold on. Oh, I already did this. Ha! Ha! He! He! Ha! 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 He! Ha! He! Ha! Ha! Wow, I completely whiffed on that. was embarrassing. Some peppers. Some yellow bells. Do another jumper. Hey, where'd you guys come from? Way too early. Well, no! Yeah. No! Blocked, but that took her out. Skit, 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 Timing. That timing is so tight. Ooh, got a 
right there. Eat my shield! Level up! Alright, what are we gonna do with... Okay, so we're gonna go with... Magic attack, 19. I'd like to give him more magic attack, but that doesn't seem to really be in the cards. It's music, man. I can't get over it. It's so good. That this magic in that is equal. Big boy, smack it with his shield. Mass food. Okay, so they don't level, or they don't, um... Auto-heal when they level up like other games, but that's okay. I've got plenty of food. But I can use some of this. Okay. Oh, I'm done. Me stupid. Up, up, around. Well, let's grab this first. Potatoes. Geronimo. Let's go to the right first. I don't like that. I'm gonna go back the other way. Oh, this is just, it's just, it's just, it's just yeah. It just leads me out. Algae, fluorescent fungus. Stop picking on that ant! Yeah! We've got him. Let's go attack this swirling Sith Lord. Yeah! Garl, you're gonna come. I guess we can smack him too. Boom explosion. Okay. Moonering. Ha. Ho. He. He. Ha. Ho. Ha. He. Ho. He. Ha. The 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 noises help. They really do. The the noises really help. Gotta find a way of moving this thing. I want you chest. Okay, so 
of that. There's a lot to explore here. I like it. Okay, you can climb out there. Good. Ooh, I can get this way. Teal Amber Ore. Okay, can't push that. So that's where I can climb up from over here. That leads to the camp. Let's rest. See what vittles we can cook. A roast sandwich. 60 to an ally. 50 to an ally. That and MP. That is yum yums. Twenty. Berry jam. And then we'll do one of this. A big boy. A big boy sandwich. Yum yum. Let's save. To new horizons. Music reminds me a little bit of like Donkey Kong Country. Like the, the overworld music. Fishman just dancing in the back with his pointy shoes. Pyong! Pyong! Pyo! Pyong! Ping, pyong, ha! Oh, wow! That came at me quick. Oh, you faked me out! And that was just slow. Six. We should be able to do six damage to you. Five. Come on, man. Oh, watch out! Take that! Let's go boost. Uh, we don't need a boost for that. We can just take him out. He can do two damage. Completely whipped that one. Yeah! Patatas. So we've got, there's no way I'm going to be able to stop the prancing goat. And he doesn't have... Might as well just go with this because it's the most damage I can do at the moment. I won't kill any of them, but... Yeah! Ha! 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 Ha. Oh, wow. I really gumped that one up. Ha. 
crap. Bomb explosion. Blocked. All right, girl, you're up. You can't even heal yourself. So we are going to... You just... You just eat a sandwich or a salad. Good, 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 I don't know if he will. Just ensure it. Oof. What? That seemed like it was well timed. Combo, we're gonna mending light everybody. Because we need to heal. Quack with your pot lid. Lock. Piss out. That looks like where I need to go, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Chest over here. Rock lid. That seems like an item for Mr. Garl. in here. Yeah, let's see if we can get to that piece. Somehow. Way through here. Don't see anything else. Yeah! Oh boy. All right, let's start off with the Moonerang. Smack him twice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Ha 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 ha! Ooh, nice block! Good work, girl!
what is around here? Some quit. Here comes Wow! Oh, too soon! Alright, let's go one, two. Attack there. Yes. Attack sale, thank you. Locked. Garl, you're gonna get some loving. Yeah. I didn't get the bonus, but. Ant Bruiser. My ant's a bruiser. He's a real ball buster. Gotcha. Just to finish you off. Commit. Ooh. I gotta find a way to get there. like that. Yeah, we're going back. Wait, 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 wait. Nope, okay. That leads to fishing. That's a mystery to me. Look, someone's over there. I wish I could read. Huh. It's a rock. We should ask for directions. She looks busy. Bah! I'm sure it's fine. Hello? Is there anything... Is there something special about that big rock? Yes. Come look at this. It's... Uh... This looks like, uh... Nah, must be my imagination. <clears throat> so, what are those? Fascinating is what they are. These runes are the oldest form of writing known to us. Who's us? Traveling historians, of course. Or at least, what's left of them. No way, you're a traveling historian. Nice to meet you, my name is Garl. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Teeks. These names are weird. So, are your friends always this quiet? <laughs> nah, Valerie and Zale are fun. They've just been sealed away to study in the sky for too many years. Huh? Magic hair? Enchanted cloth pieces? <laughs> Your solstice warrior.
Cheers. We I am. I knew it. Adventurous spirits feed into the unravelled mysteries of no fearsome and battle and encounter countless forgotten artifacts. A traveling historian's best friends. I mean, well, someone's excited. <laughs> and we thought Garl was something. Hey guys, Teeks has an offer for us, and I think it's worth hearing out. Sure, what's up? I'm not sure how to explain it properly. It's about my book. Why don't you eat with us tonight, Teeks? This place is perfect to set up camp. Oh well. Don't be shy. We're happy to have you. Yeah, plus you have to try Garl's cooking. Hi. Okay, thanks. That's it. One stew. Coming right up. Sails off doing push-ups. Thanks again for the food, Garl. You really are a pretty good cook. Glad you liked it. Welcome to join us any again anytime. So you're the very last traveling... Blah. So you're the very last traveling historian? At this point, I might as well be the first. It's been so long since all the poor grimoires were burned. The what now? Poor grimoires. Every traveling historian has one, or had one, I suppose. They're enchanted books that write themselves by touching artifacts with stories to tell. Whoa! A traveling historian's duty is to make their lore grimoire as full as possible before passing it on to a new recruit. There used to be a guild and a whole bunch of us, but now there's just this believer here. Which leads to what I've been meaning to ask. Shoot. Well, you see, the best thing a traveling historian can ask for is adventurers to keep an eye out for them. I don't have any way to pay you, but if you wouldn't mind grabbing any artifacts you stumble upon in your adventures, I'd be happy to share stories with you. Sounds fun, but how will we find you if you're always traveling? Don't worry about it. I'll just drop by your campfire whenever you're out in the open. It's the perfect setting for telling stories. Story time by the campfire? Sign me up! Great! Just bring me any artifacts you find and we'll see how my Lord Grimoire reacts. How many stories do you have so far? Just the one. It was empty when I found it, but that's okay by me. I plan on discovering enough to fill an entire volume. That's the spirit. This first story wrote itself when I stumbled upon a very old pirate earring. That's when I knew I was holding a real Lord Grimoire. They were thought extinct. What's the story about? A ghost pirate ship called the Vespertine. Ooh! I can read it if you want. Feel free to ask. Hey, you want to hear a story? Yes. The Vespertine. All right. Of all the recorded hexes and acts of bewitchment, few are as dreadful as the curse of the Vespertine. This story takes us back centuries to a time when a certain band of pirates ruled the seas. Stormcolor was the name of the captain. He was the most powerful wind mage the world had ever known. And their navigator, Hortense, remains to this day the shrewdest mariner on record. Combining Hortense's skill and Stormcolor's magic, some say their ship was faster than light itself. The crew went on many adventures and accumulated countless riches until one day the inevitable happened. Hortense, whose first love was music, announced that she wanted to quit the pirate life and devote herself to her art full-time. Ever a firm believer that the real treasure is the treasure that one finds along the way, Stormcaller took her resignation harshly. Utterly insulted, he stopped conjuring wind for the sails and locked the ship right in the middle of the ocean. And we shall remain here, he said, until our navigator gets that silly idea out of her head. But Hortons had already made her final decision. Days went by, both of them sulking while their crew bugged that they reached some resolution baked. First, they ran out of patience, then out of food, and eventually out of drinkable water. Then, one day after sunset, the pirates, driven mad by hunger and thirst, mutinied and made their captain walk the plank. And as he sank into the abyss, so Stormcaller cursed his crew and conjured an eternal prison. In the sea of nightmare, he would channel a deadly storm for them to endure forevermore. 
Over centuries, the crew members lost their minds to the ghastly place until only Hortons remained. To this day, the battle goes on in the sea of nightmares, Stormcaller's hatred pitted against the navigator's sheer will. Some say Stormcaller's fury will one day sink the ship, but others believe he will eventually bow to the indomitable Hortons. Legend has it, she gets a short break once a day, but for a few seconds, at the precise time the curse was first conjured. Countless sailors and fishermen have since reported sightings of the legendary ghost pirate ship that appears at dusk. They call it the Vespertine. While some have half a mind to climb aboard in search of treasure, most avoid sailing at dusk for fear of sucked into the sea of nightmare. The end. Herbed filet. Rest. Good night, folks. A boat ride to Wraith Island? That might be a challenge given the situation with the lift. Huh? Probably nothing you can't figure out. Which way is it? East to here along the path. Mind if I stick around for now? We have... We have the same destination. The more the merrier! Teeks joins the cargo. Save. Alright, now let's figure out... Where the trash? We need to go. Potato. Yeah, so I gotta find a way. I'm just dumb and blind. Hell oh my. Ooh, down deeper, huh? Down, down, down. Mushrooms. Oh, there's mushrooms there too. Ha 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 he 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 ho 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 Oh no Summon Oh boy Oh dear Focus fire. All right, so we're gonna moonerang because I need to take some of these guys out. Yeah. This is gonna do some. Oh my goodness. Oh. Did not get nearly enough deflections, but it worked. Yes, a chest. Silver sword, I like that. Twenty-six. There's gotta be something in for Valerie around here. Okay, we can go 
go on up. Too soon. Ah! Focus fire. Sunball right to the middle would be great, but they are gonna all attack next turn. Can't take out any one of them. I'll try to like this. That at least. Locked, good. Ouch. Girl. Get up there. There's a chest up there. How do I get to ya? Still got that to figure out. Ooh. There we go. 
Mushroom soup. We got mushroom scramble, now we got mushroom soup. Okay, now I think we're good. Give her a little rest. Oh, there's a bunch over here. Oh, ah, ah. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, here we go. Sunball. Nice. Ah. Take him out. Nice block, nice block. Ooh. What have we here? Do I have to do this like a certain speed? Go, 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 go. Ah. There we go. Solar rain. Berries. Berries. Ooh, mountains are nice. Okay, he's just a wanderer. <laughs> 